Some doubles. J Dog back to answer more goddamn questions. First, we got uh, three order questions. God damn it. These should be pretty quick, though. Chris Sanders, question for the channel. Would you rather live till 90 and be a puny little beta <laughs> or live till 60 and be jacked with a set of balls? I mean, I've kind of already said it multiple times on here. I'd rather be the 60 but do what I want in life. Do you want to call that beta, puny, or, <laughs> or jacked or whatever it is? But rather be 60 and do what I like to do than just kind of like not enjoying my life and doing shit that you're just miserable doing and live to be 90. That's the way I see it. Right? Damn it. Not that I'd, I, I'd prefer to make it over 90 to 60, but if I had to choose, like if, if the choices were equal, enjoy your life, I'd, I'd prefer 90, but if, if the choice is life sucks till 90 or life good till 60, I would do 60. No, no question about it. I know there's going to be a lot of people, especially older guys, maybe not as much in the metal world, but they would say shit like, ah, oh, once you get older, though, 55 and shit, you will say it otherwise. No, I won't, because why would I want to live that extra 35 years at 55? I got 35 more to go if I'm miserable. So, no, I just completely disagree. Dustin Harrison, j Dog, watch the channel every morning. That's the way I like to hear it, goddamn it. Never comment. Why not, Barbara? Then your name looks familiar. Maybe it's from orders. So this is from an order question. What are your What are your thoughts on the DV8 New York demo? Question mark. Don't know it. Also, did you ever listen to the Piranha demos with Bailoff? Yes, uh, I have actually a bootleg seven inch of it. Isn't there like nursery rhymes on there um, that you said Piranha demos? I only know one Piranha demo. The seven inch is called Big Fucking Teeth, and there's one demo on there. It's a bootleg seven inch. Like I told you guys, boots are best, man. Boots are always best. That's where you get a lot of these cool demos and shit like that. A lot of back day. Now the uh. Yeah, the Piranha 7s. God damn, that's fucking like. That's pushing 20 years old. That might even be 20 years old. I got that forever fucking go. They did come in through Hells. I picked it up through there. But um, I mean, they're long, 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 long. Shit, we got those back. We might even been in our parents' house still. Definitely not in this warehouse yet. That's for damn sure. David Colon. Damn, it never ends. Laugh out loud. Do you ever do a podcast with your brothers? Question mark. Recently asked that, so you saw that one, David. Just talking about anything, or are they not interested? Like I said, I answered that one. But what do your parents think of your success with your brothers? Hopefully, they are proud. Pretty cool to think that three brothers started a badass vinyl CD distribution company. Did you consider any other careers, or was this all you wanted to do? Thanks, Dave. Um, as far as did I want to do anything else? I just figured I'd be doing the print shop, which I where I was at. That's where I figured it would go. Um. I thought I was going to kind of always be like, if you would have asked me in high school or so, I always thought I was going to be kind of a two job guy, not for life, but probably till I was 35, 40. Because uh, to me, I figured it'd be two jobs to get uh, to where I like comfortable lifestyle. Uh, the comfortable lifestyle is I don't have to worry about my bills. I have extra money to buy, you know, like records and just entertainment type stuff, things that you just, you know, that aren't necessities. And then even after that, I still have money to put away every single month. And from my mindset, it probably would have been like, I'm going to need two jobs to do that. Uh, this one job, I just, I literally just eat by paying my bills and maybe I can squeeze in buying a CD every two weeks. That to me is an unacceptable lifestyle. If that's an acceptable lifestyle for you, that, that's fine. It's all just personal per, personal preference. I'd rather have way less time on my hands, uh, use it, just work and be miserable, but not have the, uh, not be broke as fuck. So that's, so I thought it would be that. Um, as far as what my parents think, um, I mean, they never really said. Um, I think I think I think it's kind of cool. You know what I mean? I mean, they definitely don't like this kind of music or anything like that. Um, yeah, they don't hate it. I mean, they don't. They, honestly, they never really, never really commented. <laughs> yeah, but I, I imagine they think it's you know kind of cool. And then now, next goddamn video in line: boycott metal archives. They are boycotting black metal posers. And yeah, obviously you guys are like, April hey, Fools, J Dog got fooled. Well, for starters, I wasn't the one that even uh said it. Again, a lot of stuff, it's it's funny. I'm like, dude, guys, I assume you guys fucking I assume not everybody's watching at 6 a.m. or shit. If you are, and if it's the drunk guys watching at 6 a.m., what the fuck are you putting goddamn goddamn bourbon in that coffee? Like, like like some of the stuff they'll bring up, like, yeah, J Dog got this, or J Dog said it. I was like, I was reading the question. I wasn't even the one that said it. Yeah, I mean, some stuff it is, I said, 
or as my response, but like that, I don't care. I don't know. That's what I was told. And if I got fooled, I got fooled. Like, is that, well, that's kind of what it was for anyways, right? So they were hoping some people got fooled, but I think it was Yasin that said it to me. So if that was the case, that's the biggest yeah joke of all goddamn time. And you boycott those motherfuckers. So I'm happy to hear that it wasn't true. Um, cause yeah, I didn't hear about it. It was just told me on the channel. Anyways, what the fuck we got in here? What's this fucking nonsense I'm seeing? Mike Violet. Gorga blows monstrosity out of the water. And yeah, Brave New World is a great, great maiden album. Borguts doesn't fucking blow off the fucking bottle caps off fucking monstrosity's beers, goddammit. Let it blow them out of the fucking water. Imperial Doom destroys the entire Snore Guts fucking catalog. Again, I like the first album. But even that second one, I guess is fine. After the second, it's like, is this even death metal? Like, what the fuck is this? Technical goddamn math metal all over the place. Monstrosity destroys that shit. Destroys them. And what is it with everybody liking Gore Guts in the last literally three to five years? Goddamn, people bash the fucking Tish left and right over on the channel. What about Gore Guts? I mean, again, I like it. I think Consider Dead, Consider Dead's a pretty okay album. Um, I just thought there was way, way, way better shit. Um, I own it. I, uh, I thought that, I love the cover art. I'll give it that. After that, Erosion of Sanity, I'm like, this is just way too technical. And then after that, I just thought it was a complete trash mess. But people liking it, that's cool. But I, I can tell you, I see the stats. I see what sells. When we get Gore Guts in now, it flies out the door. It's reissued by, uh, listenable records in the last few years. So I see it. Years ago, I could tell you it was kind of a dog bone. You know, woof, 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 barking at the moon, goddammit, collecting dust in the shelves, had to wipe the cobwebs to pull it off. So it's just hilarious to see the fucking trends. Not only wrong, Tish was like that too. Um, Because we put out the hacked up for barbecue. More, it's just so hilarious. Well, the, the first 12-inch vinyl that ever came out from that slot, from uh, Mortician was the Mortician Flesh Grind. But album-wise, it was hacked up for barbecue. We put it out. The very first video I did is me showing the LP and kind of talking about that story time. So go search the goddamn for very first video. December 24th, 2020? 21? 21. Yeah, 21. Going on two years. Um, 2005 that came out. It took, I think it took us like over two years to sell all of them. It like was kind of steady, but it didn't fly. But it's so funny, like uh, how the trends, like nowadays, holy fuck. I mean, that would just, you know what I mean, fly out the fucking door. But, uh, Gorgut's kind of the same way. Grand, we never released them, but it's like, it's their Gorgut's just flies on shit now. Um, again, good for them. I don't care. I'm not bashing. I'm just like, where, why does like, I don't understand. I just don't, I guess I just don't understand how it comes along, but could get that conversation started. Um, so. Yeah, silly question. Skip over that. Uh, Monolith of Death. Use your ID there, bra bra. Off topic, but is there going to be uh be Death Hammer vinyl represses presses anytime soon? Uh to be honest, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I don't recall seeing those on the schedule. Not saying that we wouldn't repress them. Some of some of them are way overdue. I know that. And I'm sure we will. Oh yeah, send comments in here too. What the fuck? Oh yeah. Thanks for answering my questions, J Dog. You didn't mention that I got called off from the goddamn uh well maybe was it you yeah, I said I thought it was you that just said about the uh Metal Archives, maybe it wasn't you then. Could have been somebody else. Poser Metal Records, you know what? Question mark, I'm going to boycott J-Dog. He says things I don't agree with. It makes me feel insecure about my opinions. Yeah, there's a few of those. I mean, I know you're being sarcastic. But he, he, he. But, uh, um, some people are actually fucking serious. Which is mind-blowing as fuck to me, but whatever. Keep on watching, bro, bro. Ryan and Zerta too. I think Ryan and Zerta, goddamn it, probably gets the most answered questions. That's not favoritism. I think it just sticks out of the questions. Who the fuck he's asking today? Got it. Uh, got stuck in deceased mode. Introducing an old friend he was not not too familiar. Get him fucking familiar, goddamn it. He loved it, so just kept it going. Nothing wrong with that. We spun ghostly white, fearless and dead machines. Then last but not least, surreal overdose. All purchased through HHR by the. By the way, God damn, by the way, God damn it, what's your ranking of deceased? I know your favor is Luck of the Corpse and the demos you have mentioned. Cheers, bro. So a quick ranking. I don't know if I'll do every album and see if I can do it. It's 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 a toss-up between luck and supernatural addiction. It really is a coin toss. 
Let's just go out of the norm because I know the trendies nowadays too. Everybody's going to say Lux it's just because of the first album. Let's go for me then. Supernatural Addiction, Luck of the Corpse, Blueprints for Madness. We'll keep thirteen. We'll keep uh, Thirteen Frightened Souls out just because it's an EP. Although the title track Thirteen, and I like the entire EP. The title track Thirteen Frightened Souls is definitely one of my all-time favorite to see songs for sure. So yeah, so, so Supernatural, Luck, Blueprints. Fearless. We won't go over the demos too, just albums only. Fearless. Uh, as the weird travel on, surreal, ghostly white. Did I clear all the albums? I think I did. did, I, did I, I didn't miss any, did I? I would say that's probably my order. It's on my head. I'm good with that. Uh, Goatman, J Dog, if you were to describe Joe Offert's Satanicon, how would you describe the sound? I think they sound uniquely awful. Uh, you know what? I, it's one of those things I heard it when I was a teenager and didn't care. Uh, <laughs> he has a song, though, called Bastard in the Sky. And I think that is a phenomenal fucking uh, title track. Uh, to be honest, if I was to start a band, since, you know, Satanicon is, you know, very small, you know, just. DIY band. I, I would might even steal that track. I might even call it, name the album that. I, and I actually use that in my uh, lingo too uh, when I refer to that piece of shit above Bastard in the Sky. So I give them that. Very good song title. And I don't think anybody, I'm surprised someone like Deicide or something never act, like not because Satanic did, just that no one has used it. Um, so kudos there, Joe. Well, that was good. But the music, I mean, it's, I'd have to go back and listen to it, but I remember just being shit I don't care about. I don't hate it. I have no problem with it. It's just the shit of it. I mean, it's not a name. Super Bomber, question, J-Dog. How do you feel when vocalists start to whisper? Does it add a layer of atmosphere, like Riding Christ? They have some de decent stuff, but the whispering parts are somewhat cringe. Whatever stood out to like, is there any parts like whispering that, um, that I liked? Mm, I mean, nothing ever, I can't think of like too many. I mean, you mentioned, yeah, Ronnie Christ, I guess. I mean, it doesn't do it a ton, though. Uh, at least, I mean, I don't know all the Ronnie Christ stuff, though. I just know, uh, like, first couple. Even that, I don't know him. No, I do. I mean, like, I might have contracted shit. Um, but I don't know it as well as I know Rika, in fact. That, that, not even close. Um, I mean, I never heard something where I was annoyed. Let's just put it that way. I never heard anything where I was like, oh, that, that's so uniquely fucking awesome that I love it. So, kind of indifferent on it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, another guy. Nate Beltron. Bro, you got duped fucking hard, laugh out loud. Not really. Just read the guy's fucking thing and gave my opinion if that was the case, God damn it. And if I did, then I did. Cool. You got duped. Jordan Selle, question. What were the Hoffman brothers like when you met them? Oh, they were the most standoffish. They were standoffish. Glenn was a jerk and um, a jerk, but I didn't take it personally. To be honest, I kind of liked it in a sense because it was like, ah, fits the goddamn build. He just, he's just a fucking angry man that hates hates that fucking bastard from the sky, as we are talking about before. Uh, so I kind of liked it in that sense. And I had the fucking cannibal, uh, you know, rant fags on my CD, uh, put you on a birth disc. That was, that made memory lane. Still have it to this day. Fucking hilarious as fuck. Uh, so I always have that memory. And then the last time I met him for the fist bump and just last year, um, had to literally fucking grab him by the shoulder. And when I mean grab him by the shoulder, I literally grabbed him by the shoulder and fucking turned his ass around because he just ignored me. Asked him for a photo. Um, the, only, the, only, the only word I got on him was sure, and that was it. As soon as, the, as, soon as that fucking flash went off, he turned around. Uh, the coolest guy, the nicest guy was Steve, and I only met him once as well. I met him all at the same time in 2000, the, the tour with Marduk. So 2000, 2001, whichever year it was. Let's see, Kyle. Qu uh, question, comment. Nuclear blast and relapse are going to be the best comps from the 90s. Ever heard the corporate death comp? Why is that sound? Uh, I think so. Is that malignancy and shit on there? Mortician, gen surgery, suffocation, old amorphous, macabre, disembowelment. I mean, that just sounds like a more, another one of the relapse comps. If that's the case, then yes, I heard it. Because I remember having 
I remember having three different comps from Relapse. I don't know how many they did in totality, but I had three different ones. I can picture the covers in my head. <laughs> Slipknot fan number one. How can you just hate on Slipknot but listen to Wimpy Goat Moon? I mean, uh, it, it's funny because, yeah, I like Goat Moon. But, yeah, it's fun. Uh, the guys that think they're Cavalt and tough as fuck. But like, I mean, dude, it is kind of. It, it, honestly, it's for the old man's child's cradle of filth and the Mewborger crowd. It really is. But a lot of those guys will rip on those bands. I'm like, it's. I'm, the, I'm talking about the early shit, too. I'm not talking about, yeah, okay, it is a little bit more, have a little bit more oomph than goddamn uh, later Cradle of Filth. But it's with that crowd, but then they'll, they're kind of like walking around like they're a vault. They're tough. They're listening to fucking the most extreme shit on the planet. Nobody says that in that crowd, but it's just how it's insinuated to me. Maybe it's just my fucking stupid ass. Could be. But again, I, I like the go shit. Uh, I think it's quite fucking good, actually. But it's for that crowd. So, yeah. Is it as tough as the Tish? A fucking Rika Putrefaction? Well, that's just fucking total goddamn men. No. But Slipknot's pussy shit, too. So, what the fuck are you talking about, bruh, that, 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 That's That's Dance with Another Man metal there, right there, bruh, bruh. Fucking Slipknot. Who, do, who doesn't know that? And if that's what you're into, that's cool. But just saying. Don't go over here with that, that silly-ass fucking baggy pants, fucking yo-yo-yo, gold chain, fucking boombox on the shoulder, hat on sideways, goddamn with an Ohio State fucking flat brim, ripping on the moon, and saying, saying you like Slipknot. I mean, come on, what the fuck? You look stupid as fuck. Uh, Murphy Full Fate. <laughs> Assuming your name is Murphy. Uh, where is the Nunslaughter Possessed show going to be? I mean, if you're not in Cleveland, then it's pretty fucking irrelevant to you. Uh, but it's going to be at the uh, Grog Shop. Fraser Dawson. Oh, yeah, you've been commenting in a while here, uh, fucking Fraser. J Dog, a question. Do you think Lady Gaga is a freaking metalhead? Or you think she's a poser? Yeah, I won't reply. Decompose. She's a fan of the plasmatics. She gets a pass. I mean, I don't really know anything about Lady Gaga other than I know she has a song called Poker Face. I don't even know how I know that. That's literally the extent I know of her. Um, to be honest, if you show me a photo of her, or like, my, I'm sure I've seen photos and shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you show me something, so who is this J-Dog? I might not even know who it is. I think I know what she looks like in my mind. But then again, what I think she looks like in my mind was probably from, I don't know, when she started, early 2000s or so. That's probably what I've ever saw. So, what she looks like today, who the fuck knows? Is she a poser? I mean, is she claiming to like metal? If she does, this is news to me. This is like what the, like, when I was talking about the Revolver channel, people talking about shit that the, the non metal heads wearing goddamn t shirts. Um, is she in that category? I, I've never seen her in a metal shirt. Again, I barely know what she fucking looks like. I haven't seen photos. But when Craig was bringing up Hellcast and shit like that, when we were doing that, like, that subject got brought up. Or even on the Revolver topic, when they were bringing people up, non-metal heads wearing metal shirts, I remember hearing about the Kardashians. I think Will Smith was one of them. Uh, who's that other guy? That uh, 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 The West guy. What's his name? Um, the rapper that I guess he's psycho. Even though I've literally never even heard him speak before. People, I guess he says he has his podcast and he talks about crazy shit. Kanye West. Um, is he crazy? I don't know. I've never, like I said, I've never heard the guy's voice before. I have no interest in uh, either. I've heard he wears the shirts. Who was the actor too? Uh, was it Kevin Bacon? Heard him. I'm trying to think who else. It was like one other person, but I didn't hear about Lady Gaga wearing metal shirts. So if she's not wearing metal shirts or claiming she likes metal, then she's not a poser. If she claims she likes metal, Real metal, not Slipknot. Again, Slipknot's not even on Metal Archives. So all you Slipknot fans out there, Metal Archives does not even recognize Slipknot as a metal band. And I'm goddamn proud to fucking... The, goddamn it. Good job, Metal Archives. Goddamn You get a fucking iron fist bump on that for that one. So I wasn't sure. I just recently looked at that Revolver show. I was like, Dude, they, I was like you know, I'm wondering what like Metal Archives says about this shit. Like, Because I never looked it up. And I looked up a few of the Deathcore bullshit. Slipknot was one. A couple I never heard of that, that was on that... God, you know, bag of a fucking channel. Um, none of them came up. I'm like, proud to see that. Doesn't recognize it in the genre. It's what it should, the way it fucking should be. About time something being done done right in this goddamn world. Usually it's fucking ass backwards, right? 
But okay, assuming you should like to she like she likes carcass, she likes more of an angel. You know what I mean? She likes fucking this fix. I, I highly fucking doubt it. If she claims she does and she actually does, and she's like, fuck yeah, dude, it's fixed, man. My favorite song is Wasteland of Terror, just like the dogs. That is my favorite song by his fix. Um I'd be like, oh shit, okay. That's shocking as fuck. But uh I wouldn't consider a poser then. I'd be like, yeah, I guess guess she likes she's doing her pop music, making millions of dollars. Good fucking for her. And she likes some real tune skis on the side. Nothing wrong with that. But is that the actual case? <laughs> Highly fucking doubt it. If Vegas was taking bets, I'd be, I'd go in on that goddamn bet and say that she fucking know, and I'd be pretty confident I'd fucking win. Comes as soon as you know the fucking do. What do they got? Yeah, it's right in the morning. Later, goddamn it.